Hello everybody, this is Doll Dazzler and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys another doll out of my doll collection. This is Adora Bell, made by Marie Osmond in 1999. I purchased this doll uh, from the flea market and um, I kind of recognized it had a very familiar type of uh, face to it and so I was kind of able to um, determine that it was a Marie Osmond doll. I've seen a lot of her dolls. Uh, this is the only one that I own but um, she was going for a really really good price um, at the uh, flea market so I went ahead and I purchased her uh, even knowing that I'm going to have quite an extensive uh, time working with her hair. Now it's probably no problem to try to you know wash it and get it silky again but in the pictures that I saw when I was doing the research on this doll every single one of her strands of hair like each individual that's that big is a ringlet and so this is this is like a whole project right here to do this doll's hair. She's got some huge amounts. It's just thick amounts of hair so that's a that's a large project that I have not um, that I have not taken on yet um, some interesting things about this doll uh, she's got a very pensive almost like she's scared <laughs> look in her eyes I don't know how I feel about that it's a little bit creepy but they're very very pretty eyes um, they are um, they're not glass they are resin and um, so if I can get it a little bit closer you guys can see um, they're made a lot different than a lot of the dolls' eyes. Um, I guess newer dolls now um, are going towards um, this type of look. I think if she'd put, in, you know, made the eyelid down a little bit, she probably wouldn't have looked so uh, pensive or so scared. But um, still a very, very cute, pretty doll. Uh, she is wearing all of her original clothing. I think she was uh, she was listed as a, a holiday edition doll. Um, which uh, makes it very very nice uh, so uh, a special occasion doll uh, she is made out of like a, I don't know if that's a hard vinyl or just a really hard plastic and it seems like this doll which is unusual for this time <laughs> to be uh, strong um, I didn't realize um, that it was strong I just thought it was a ball joint and uh, when I was posing her, um, I noticed that her her head, it's not a ball joint, it's on a string, and so are her arms and legs, which is very, very interesting because stringing of dolls um, is not very common at all. I don't think that I have a newer doll that is strung. So stringing of dolls would be 50s, and so, um, there's a, I don't know if you'll be able to see in there, but I'll try to pull it back just a tiny bit. So it's a very uh, thick cord um, type of rubber band, uh, very, very thick cord inside that holds her limbs together. It makes her very, very poseable. It's very fun to pose this doll. She holds position very well. So she's not that old of a doll. So that vinyl cord is going to last a really, really long time. Uh, like I said, she's wearing all of her original clothing. She's got, uh, her little dress has got some uh, netting on it. And then her pantaloons are kind of like a silky um, fabric with some lace. And there's her original shoes. And then she doesn't have socks. She has on some tights. And she's about, I would say she's probably about 15 inches tall. So she's, she's rather short. She's kind of chunky. Uh, kind of like a little chunky doll. She's very, very pretty. Really, really pretty. Um, her markings are going to be on her back. I can get past, I might turn her head around. <laughs> I have to get past all of that hair to see the markings. And uh, Marie Osmond actually signed this doll, which is kind of a nice thing too. So there's the marking, Marie Osmond and 1999. And I don't know, I, I would have believed that she probably, um, she probably, uh, um, 
probably has her signature on all of her dolls. And I don't know how many of them that they made. I don't know if they're like exclusive dolls where she only made so many. But um, if so, I have one of the Adorabells. So I will definitely um, hold on to this doll. Also, too, this doll is a uh, wigged doll. So the wig won't come off. So it's not an interchangeable wig. But, um, you know, nowadays it's... Uh, uh, rooted hair into the doll. So we've got definitely a, a, a wig on her and then her eyelashes too. I can show you guys that. They are more realistic as well. She's got a little beauty mark right there by her eye. So she's a very cute little doll. Really cute. So if anybody out there has a, a another uh, uh, Marie Osmond doll that they wouldn't mind sharing a picture or a video of please leave that in the comments for me Also, if you know what Adora Bella would have been uh, Sold with in the box. I would imagine probably a brush and a comb um, Since she's got the uh, combable hair, but I don't know if uh, having been a holiday edition doll I didn't look and wasn't able to see uh, what was inside the box with her um, if you guys uh, out there, anybody uh, knows what she would have been sold with, please leave that in the comments for me as well. So this is Adora Bell. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.